खुफिया वीडियो देखने से पहले वीडियो को लाइक करें राहम टीवी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन पर क्लिक करें शुक्रिया अलहमदिल्ला वकफ़ा वसलात वसलम आबादीफ़ा खूस अलाफ़ालबीन महमदिनमीन वाल वसाह अजमाइन वमनसन्नबीसन्नतीमद्दीन मिनदीन अमन वमिनसलिहत वतवासबलबर वल्लाबितना आइंदमत बिलाबीन قال الله عز وجل في كتابه الكريم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ادع الى سبيل ربك بالحكمه والموعظه الحسنه وجادلهم بالتي هي احسن ان ربك هو اعلم بمن ضل عن سبيله وهو اعلم بالمهتدين اللهم اجعلنا من المهتدين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي وانت جنا ابو نصر السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته Last time I started the discussion on this ayah um from Surah An-Nahl ayah number 125 and if anyone wants to you know go back and read it Udu ila sabili rabbik call give da'wah to the path of your master to the path of your uh, lord bil hikmati wal mau'izati al hasana wa jadilhum billati hiya ahsan and last time I stopped at Udu ila sabili rabbik give da'wah to the to the path of your master and just to to quickly summarize what we talk what I talked about when we give da'wah when Allah used the word udu The way you give da'wa is not where you it's the same way as when you give da'wa to someone to your house. You you treat them with respect. You treat that you give them a certain level of izza. You don't bring them to your house and then start yelling at them. Start pointing out their mistakes, start disrespecting them. They are the guests in your house. You don't do tanqeed of them. You give them ihtiram, you give them respect. So when you give da'wa, you give someone respect. You don't put them on blast. You don't open up a YouTube uh video and start cursing them out. You give da'wa privately and respectfully. And then we talked I talked about the word sabil to, uh the inviting to the path of your master and the implications of the word path were that we don't get to invite as if we're a finished product I don't get to say I have guidance I I'm where I need to be you need help no I am also walking this path you and I are also walking this path with people who we are guiding who we want to call to the right path we are walking that same path so we don't come from a a, le- a place of arrogance or a place of superiority we come from the same place as them and then the other implication of the word sabil was i am if we are a certain place on this path and we are inviting someone we don't expect them to start from the same place and we don't expect them to move at the same pace everyone has their own starting point everyone has their own speed at which they do they they walk on this path and we respect that place and that pace and we bring them to continue to do, do that work with us We don't expect them to go 0 to 100 right away. We don't expect them to change overnight. We understand that it's a process for them. So now today I want to talk a little about these three strategies that Allah explained to us that we can use. Bil hikmah wal mau'izati al hasana wa jadilhum billati hiya ahsan. At first Allah says bil hikmah with hikmah. What is hikmah? Unfortunately we have taken the word hikmah which in Arabic means a huge huge um topic. You know you can write 300 page papers on hikmah in the Quran we have unfortunately reduced it hikmah means sunnah hikmah means a lot more than sunnah a lot more than the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hikmah it's the arabic definition if you want to really simplify it is al ilm al nafi' wal amal bihi a uh, good knowledge beneficial knowledge and acting upon it so these two things you need i'll give you an example from from medicine you can have someone who wants to become a medical student who wants to become a lung specialist they want to go into palm crit but they have an addiction to smoking they more than anyone else know the dangers of smoking uh, there's a certain level of um general knowledge that exists about smoking then a doctor has even more knowledge then someone who's going into pulmonology has even more knowledge about the dangers of smoking so he has he has the ilm an-nafi' but he has a smoking addiction that's not amal bihi he doesn't have amal bihi therefore he does not have hikmah So when Allah tells us to call to the path, to the path of your master with hikmah it becomes our responsibility to not just give da'wa but to live da'wa to be an example if we learn something we inculcate it in our lives and that way we don't even have to open our mouths to give da'wa our walking our day-to-day activities are da'wa themselves I'll give you the example of one of uh, there is a scholar actually in America he he started off as a Christian agnostic He wasn't, you know, he was born Christian but he didn't want to get involved in deen. He didn't really know what religion was. So he was an agnostic. One day he comes to a supermarket that is owned by a Muslim grocer. And the, this grocer is, you know, the one doing his checkout. 
And one thing you should know about um, the system in America is when you know they have the scale where they measure the fruits and vegetables, they measure the weight and they give you fruit or they charge you based on the weight. So in that there's actually from the government a 5% leeway where if you charge them for 5% more of the, what they have, it's okay because there's a margin of error. So we give you 5%, if you charge them a little bit more accidentally, that's fine. So this, he comes, he goes to, he comes to his grocer and this, what this grocer does, what this shopkeeper does is he weighs his, his groceries and he adds in a few extra fruits and vegetables. He throws in a few extra and the, this guy asks, why, why'd you do that? You know, there's no, no one's going to come after you. I mean, you have the 5% margin of error. You don't need to, you know, give me extra. You, what are you covering for? You're not going to get charged extra in tax. The police aren't going to come after you. What's going on? He says, yeah, the state, the government, well, the government is okay with me give, taking an extra 5%, but Allah isn't. My Rabb isn't okay with that. So I can't give you, I can't take that extra 5% for myself, so I'm just putting in a few extra um, tomatoes or whatever it is, so that I'm covered with my Allah. I don't want to have to respond that, why did you take that extra 5%? I didn't let you take that. That action made this person so curious that, what faith do you follow? What, what is this master that you're talking about? And he's like, yeah, I'm Muslim, my master is Allah. And they had a little bit of conversation about what it meant. This person was so moved by this act, action and so intrigued by what this deen was, he became a scholar. He converted to Islam, became a scholar. He went to go study in Madani, uh, Medina University. And now he's actually a speaker in, um, I think, uh, somewhere, somewhere in the States. He did not give a, get, get a khutbah from a masjid. He didn't know Dari came to his house, knocked on his door. It was a simple interaction at a, at a, at a grocery store that turned his life around. This is bil hikmah. This is living what ilmu nafi wal amal bihi, having knowledge, acting on it, and being a beacon of light for those around us. Then Allah says, wal mawa'idat al hasana. Mawa'ida is a word that touches the heart and people want to listen to it. Something that some, that makes your heart open, something that makes you, that, that's, that's very attractive to what you want to hear. And then on top of that, al-hasana, something that is beautiful, something that, is, that opens the heart and is beautiful. And in Arabic, if you want to really live mawarida, part of, part of the meaning is understanding the di difficulties that someone is going through. Understanding where they're coming from, understanding where their pain is, understanding the situation there is. Today what we want to do is, I don't care, I don't want to listen to what you have to say, I'm going to talk to you, you need to do this, you need to fix this, you have this problem, you have that problem, these are all the problems you have, I don't care where you're, where you're, where, what you're feeling, how, what your situation is. That's not mawarida. Mawarida is, you listen to them. You hear where they're coming from, and then you respond based on what they need. الحسن, and then the last one is, وَجَادِلْهُمْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ You know, oftentimes we have, there are people, there are people who like spice in their food, other people like spice in their conversations, other people like spice in their gatherings. And this may, these may be people in your, fr in your families, maybe people you have friends with, a gathering is happening, you know, you're, everyone's at Eid, and there's always this one person, you know, مَسْلَةْ تِرْنَا I have to, you know, what about, what does Islam say about this? You know, what, what about this, what about this Dalil, what about that Dalil? And it's the same, they've been using the same one for 10 years. They keep bringing up the same topic. And you think you're doing something good, you think you're, you know, talking about Haq, and meanwhile they're just getting entertainment because they know the, the drama that's going to happen based on this, you know, Mas'ala that they've, that, they've, um, that they've ignited. They're sitting back getting entertainment. So Allah says, وَجَادِلْهُمْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ When this happens, recognize that this is happening, and argue, but argue in a way that is better. And the example I like to give is, so many times, even recently, we have people who create cartoons, right, about Islam, uh, saying things about Allah, saying things about the Prophet ﷺ. And if you actually listen to their interviews, it's, it's, it's incredible. When you listen to the interviews of the people who write these, who then retired and everything like that, what they say is, you know, we're, we don't do this because we actually have a problem with Islam. We don't, we don't care, but we do know that when we do this, and then there's a huge uproar, there's a, we get a lot of attention in the media, we get a lot of money, we make a lot of, um, you know, we get a lot of publicity. So we don't do it because we have any feelings towards Islam, we just do it because, you know, it pays the bills. We do it because it, it, it ignites people, it makes people angry, and then that anger erupts, and then we get all the publicity, the Muslims look bad, and everyone wants to listen to our paper, and everyone wants to talk about free speech and everything like that. And they treat us like, literally like lab rats. And we fall into their trap. So Allah, said, Allah told us so many years ago, When this happens, recognize that it's happening, 
don't start, you know, doing violent protests, burning cars, burning shops, you know, having all these violent um, demonstrations. جَادِلْهُمْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ Argue, but in a way that is beautiful. Calm yourself down, take it easy, see what they're trying to do, and protect yourself, and make, make sure you present a good image. Don't waste your time against these people, because they don't care about anything except the publicity. All they want is the dollar bill. So may Allah make us of those who live uh, all these ways that we talk about, uh, we give da'wah. May He make us of, of those who have hikmah and mawa'idatil hasana. And he, may He make us of those who do jadilhum billati hiya ahsan. May He make us of those who, are, who give da'wah in the best way possible, calling ourselves and our family members and our loved ones to the path of Allah and become examples for ourselves, our families, our communities, and our societies. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim. Wa nafa'ni wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim. Aqulu qawli hadha fa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'il muslimin فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم